this lineup is just the start, and there'll be lots more in the near future. Wild Rift features a dual stick control scheme that we hope feels natural to mobile and console veterans. We have spent a lot of time building on that foundation with a focus on responsiveness and precision. We have invested a ton into targeting, aiming, and some new tech we're not quite ready to show yet. Now with that in mind, let's take a closer look at a few of Wild Rift's champions. For Nasus players, we felt it was critical to maintain his infinite scaling, raid boss fantasy in Wild Rift. And to do that, we adjusted the speed at which he gained stacks of Siphoning Strike to make sure that he can still ascend in the late game. For Twist of Fate, we mentioned a couple months ago that we were polishing up his stack deck to be more than a passive ability. The new version grants our favorite gambler a burst of attack speed, opening up new potential build paths. Most of Miss Fortune's kit already works great on Wild Rift, but we took the opportunity to change Double Up into a skill shot to accommodate our dual stick controls. And now this also gives the Miss Fortune players more gameplay opportunities. While some champions, it made sense to make some small adjustments. For Janna, she was a perfect example of a champion that has near identical gameplay from PC. For Shivana, we wanted to push the envelope a little further and really bring out her Dragon Hunter thematic while not adjusting her core gameplay pattern too much. Now, when Shivana takes a Drake, she gets unique bonuses in Dragon form. For example, killing an Inferno Drake adds some true damage against Scorch enemies. And a Mountain Drake will grant Shivana a slow on her twin bite. So, as you can see, we are keeping the experience pretty close to PC, with a few changes that hopefully better fit our new platforms. We think it would be awesome if you can pick up some of your favorite champions in Wild Rift and immediately start showing off your skills against other players. Wild Rift's gameplay will look pretty familiar to League players, so we thought we'd start at the same place every League game does. Let's head into Champ Select. Just like on PC, you can select from a range of summoner spells that give you powerful but limited tools to turn the tide of battle. Smite will be a little different, but we'll get into that later. With Wild Rift's rune system, we're looking to bring the meaningful pre-game decision making of runes reforged on PC a streamlined for shorter game sessions. There are 8 keystone runes to choose from like Electrocute, Airy, and Conquer. You can then pick 3 minor runes to complement your choice. We added a few new minor runes unique to Wild Rift, like Sweet Tooth, which grants you gold when you eat honey fruit, and Loyalty, which gives you and your lane partner defensive stats when you're close to each other, and this bonus stacks too. You might have figured out some of this already from our previous gameplay clips, but let's talk about some of the features of our map, which is called Wild Rift. There are three lanes in the rift. Pick one and push forward. Defeat the enemy turrets and Nexus to win.
Odd Rest still has all the phases of a league game that you would expect, but shortened to 15 to 20 minutes. From last hitting and trading in the laning phase, to setting up the perfect gank, to fighting over that crucial dragon, to clutch team fights. For junglers, you can now choose whether you want challenging smite or chilling smite after you finish off four major jungle camps. That way you can get straight into ganking as soon as you're ready. You can expect to find many in-game items you'll know from PC which can only be bought in the fountain. While the number and tuning of items may be different, their purpose is almost identical. For instance, Rabadon's death cap is still the go-to item for stacking up your ability power. And Trinity Force still deals tons of damage. We also need feedback on our new Tier of the Goddess item designed for tanks. It's called Fimble Winter, and it'll grant you a shield when you crowd control someone. Wild Rift also features many familiar active items, but each player can only purchase one. These active effects are now bought as a third tier for boots, and you can mix and match any upgrade with any boot type. Support players might want to pick up the Redemption enchant, and tanks can grab the stone plate for extra resistances. Or maybe you'll want to try something that's totally different. We've added a quick buy pop-up for when you really need to get back to lane quickly, too. We've built Wild Rift's gameplay with depth and strategy in mind. We want this to be a MOBA that's easy to pick up with friends, with a high ceiling for mastery, so we're hoping the core 5v5 experience lives up to your expectations. Speaking of 5v5, the regional alpha also has co-op versus AI available to practice your skills, a tutorial that covers controls and abilities, and we're looking to add new modes after launch. Alpha players can even test the rank system, which we've designed to retain the core competitive spirit of League, with a few adaptations for new platforms. We'll talk more about this at a later date. So we're committing to following the business model from League PC, meaning you can earn all champions for free and paying is optional. It's not a core part of the game and it should never feel like you're forced into it. All right, with all that said, let's look at some skins. many more skins on the way and we're really excited to represent your favorite skins in a new way on Wild Rift. We hope you're excited. We really are. This is still only a taste of what we're up to, but the team is excited to hear your feedback and suggestions. And emotionally stable enough to handle you showering us with your balanced team memes. Thank you all for your support. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. We'll see you on the Wild Rift. Thank you.